everyone. Today marks our final week in our Blueprint lesson series, and we have been hearing all about God's blueprints for our lives and that God has a plan for each of you. And so today we are talking about when Jesus goes to Jerusalem, knowing God's plan for him. And since we are talking about Jesus entering the city of Jerusalem, I thought we could start off with a silly name that town game. So sometimes pronouncing, see, I even messed up that word, pronouncing those town names is hard. And I have a game with some hard names from across the U.S. that you have to see if you know how to pronounce those towns. Let's check it out. I hope you were able to get some of those right. I feel like we have some good practice because here in Michigan, we have some crazy town names that we all know how to pronounce. So I hope you guys had some fun with that. Let's check out our lesson video for this week and see what happened when Jesus came to Jerusalem. No, oh no. Where is he? He should have been here by now. Oh, hey there, kids. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Cool TV! Come on, this is crazy! Why isn't he here yet? Hey kids, sorry if it looks like I'm panicking. Because I am panicking! You see, we had a lot planned for Grow TV today, but can you guess where my co-host Andy is? <laughs> if you guess anywhere right beside me, then you're right! He's not here! Now everything I had planned is ruined! <laughs> Wait a minute. What if I did everything I was planning on doing with Andy, but just did it by myself? That's it! I can do that! Let's get started! First, we usually start off the day with a high five. Or a handshake. Or a hug. Next, joke time. Knock, knock. 
Next on the list is playing catch. Hey. Well, all that was useless. Carl. <laughs> Andy! I'm so sorry I'm late. Where have you been? I'm so sorry, man. I completely forgot we had Grow TV today. I was just at home feeding my pet tiger and then I just realized what Wait. time it was and I came home. You Wait. have a pet tiger? You don't? No. I do not have a pet tiger. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, I'm here to do all the things that we had planned today, all right? But first, high five. <laughs> high five, Carl. Up top. I said high five. Carl, did you hear me? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Why didn't you give me a high five, man? I guess I'm just not in the mood. Well, that stinks. Is everything okay? Well, I guess I'm just a little disappointed. What? Why? <sighs> I don't know. I guess I was expecting a really fun day, and then when I realized you weren't coming in, I tried to do the plan all by myself. And? And it didn't work! Well, yeah. What? High fives, jokes, games, those things aren't supposed to be done by themselves. I mean, that doesn't even sound fun. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. You know, even Jesus didn't do everything by himself. Really? Seems like he wouldn't need the help of the others. Well, let's look at Mark 11. Grab the Bible. You grab it. You're closer. Fine. Ah! Alrighty! Yeah. Oh! This is where Jesus rides into Jerusalem. It sure is. Jesus was heading there to finish out God's plan by saving everyone. But this was a very special time that a lot of people were looking forward to for a very long time. Really? Why? You see, what Jesus was about to do was predicted long before Jesus was even born. Well, that seems to happen a lot with Jesus. It's true because Jesus was the savior and the king that all the prophets from the Old Testament had talked about. So what does it say happened before Jesus showed up in Jerusalem? Well, several things. It mentions that some people went to go get some sort of key. A key? Yeah, a key to use when they were done. Maybe to open a door? Let me see. <laughs> Carl, it says they went to go get a don key. Donkey. Oh, a donkey. I was gonna say, a donkey definitely is not a thing. But why not ride something more exciting, like a camel or an elephant? The donkey was actually a symbol of peace at that time, and a horse would have been a good idea, but it represented a lot of kingdoms back then that weren't about peace at all. They were about war and stuff. Jesus wanted to show that God's plan would be about peace. Then it says that once the donkey was with Jesus, someone put a cloak on the donkey so Jesus could sit on it. Well, then there are some people that took off their cloaks and laid them on the ground for Jesus. And others grabbed branches to put down on the ground. You know why they did that? Was it because it was laundry day and their clothes were too clean, so they had to dirty them up before they had to wash them? Not quite. It was actually a way to show respect for people who were really important, like kings. Like Jesus. Mm-hmm. That is so cool. Oh, look here. It even says people were singing to and about Jesus. They were worshiping God through all of it. Yep, I'd say Jesus had a pretty good entrance into Jerusalem. <laughs> I'd say so too. You know what I like most about this whole story? Please don't say it was the key. <laughs> no, it was the fact that none of that would have ever happened if it wasn't for everyone pitching in and doing their part. I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, you had people fetching donkeys, laying down their clothes and branches, singing. No way someone could do that all by themselves. Not a chance. But God's plan for people wasn't just for them to participate in Jesus entering Jerusalem. It was much bigger than that. This king that they were welcoming into the city was gonna save them and bring them closer to God. So God's plan involved people, but it was also about people. That's right, so even though I messed up today's plans and didn't make you feel included, just know you are always included in God's plans. I guess you're right. I am included in God's plans. Wait, that's our big idea. No, it's not. It is. Are you sure? Yeah, look at the script. That's our big idea. <laughs> Today's big idea is I'm included in God's plan. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. I'm included in God's plan. Yes, I am. And so are you. And so is Andy. So the plan shall be moved forward. Hence now with God's plan. Forever. <laughs> Forever. And ever. Cooleth. Well, Carl, we learned a lot today. But I hope you know, I'm really sorry for being late. No worries, I forgive you. But don't let it happen again, or else. Or else, or else what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> See you next week. Watch your bag, Auntie. Who said that? Oh, I don't know. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Watch your bag. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. What I love.
love about this story is that everybody played a part. Jesus asked the disciples to get on the donkey to ride. Some people put their coats on the donkey for Jesus to sit on, and others put their coats or large palm branches on the road to make a red carpet, which was only done for a king. So some people, were, and some people were just there to celebrate. Everyone shouted and praised as they welcomed Jesus into the city of Jerusalem. The people called out to Jesus saying, Hosanna, which Hosanna means to save. When the people were shouting it, they were asking Jesus to save them. Everybody thought that Jesus would be the kind of king that would help them build their own nation and rule here on earth. But God's master plan was about so much more than that. It's true that God sent Jesus to save everyone, but it was to save everybody from their sin. So no matter which part you think was the most important that day, we are all loved the same by God because Jesus came to save all of us. When God made the plan of sending Jesus, God did it with you in mind. And we, if we were there, we would have all been shouting, Hosanna. Isn't that such an awesome story? So I have a simple activity for us to do today to help remind us of the huge thing that Jesus did for each and every one of us. Jesus knew the difficult road ahead of him, and he still chose to go to Jerusalem on the purpose to fulfill God's plan. So Jesus was coming to die on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. How amazing is that? That God loved us so much that while we were still sinners, he chose to die for us. And so I have an activity for us to do to help remind us of that all week as we lead into Easter. I want you to trace your hands on either you can do green paper or white paper and color them green. And they're supposed to represent the palm brown fronds from this lesson this week. And I want you to write notes of thanks and praise to Jesus for loving us so much. Make a bunch of handprints and put them up all over your house to remind you that Jesus was God's plan to love and help everyone, including you, and you are part of God's plan. And I want you to just remember that all week as we lead into celebrating Easter next Sunday. So that takes us to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye.